All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to open up a mega box of these Tops Holiday because I love the Tops Holiday. First, I want to start something new this year. I pulled all these spectacular cards all year, right? But I didn't keep them any. I got them. I am organized a little bit. All they're up, but I put them all on the side right here. But this year, I'm going to do something different, okay? I was going to sound kind of wacko, but I want to pick a card of the year, starting with the box I'm open now and find out what I have at the end of the year. I mean, like this past year, the cards, it was pretty easy what the card of the year for most of the year was going to be the, was these uh, two Wander Franco Purple Meyer cards since nobody else could get them. And I got, actually got two of them. So these would actually stay on here for most of the year. But something trumped it once the extended series or hockey came out, and these aren't card of the year per value or per whatever. It's per me, the card I like the best. So the Franco would have got trumped by this awesome Eric Lindros program of excellence card. So that, even though it doesn't, it's not hardly worth much. It's worth a lot to me. So that would have bumped that card, and coming in this. So no matter what I open, it could be hockey, baseball, football, Star Wars, whatever. Even racks from a friend could trump this card. And it actually, the last rack did. So this would have been the card of the year, for example. And this card right here from Leaf Fan Down Under would have been, would have trumped that card and ended up being the card of the year. So this is what I'm going to kind of do. I mean, I got done a lot more, but this is like an example. I go from Wander to Big E. To this Roy Holiday, Doc Holiday card. So that's how it's going to work. And starting with the box today will be like the baseline. Whatever, if I get anything good out of here, short print, whatever, it'll go into the card of the year. And then whatever I open up next, if I open up Star Wars, I open up Desert Storm cards, I open up whatever I open up. If I think it's better than that card, I'll replace that card, and I'll put the card I, that was previously in there in a box. Then I'll have a box of all the cards that were ranked card of the year up until October 14th, or December 14th of this year coming up. That'll be the cutoff. Because like Leaf Fan got me those cards on my one-year anniversary, so that was a cutoff, and I considered that the win. But this year, I mean, it might sound kind of dumb, but... I think it'd be kind of cool to, whatever I get, let's say I open this box and open up like an extended box or whatever of hockey, and it like, I like that card better than that card, I'll switch it out and put that in the box. And at the end of the year, I'll go through all the cards I considered card of the year nominations. And the card that was in winds up in here on November or December 14th of 2023 is my card of the year. Okay, I got that out of the way. I just wanted to kind of share with that and see what you guys think. I mean, I don't know. It just sounds kind of, kind of cool. To, it'll actually help me keep track of all the cards that I actually, you know, collect. Instead of putting them all on, you know, over here on the side over here. I'll still put cards on the side over here, but it'll be, it'll actually be able to keep track I don't know, I'll be able to keep track better. I know it sounds kind of wacko, but I'm wacko, so. Let's start off the second year of existence here on YouTube with my favorite, Tops Holiday. And I just watched a surfer, man, this dude pulled an ultra short, short print of Mike Trout with skates on in the snow. I was like, damn, that was awesome. Then... Two seconds later, he pulls a autograph. So I'm like, wow. So his has actually been the best holiday box I've seen, and that was only his first box he opened. So that's crazy. So let's get into this, and hopefully we can get something as good as he did. We'll start off with... The uh, 
Shane Bieber, freaking Cleveland. Well, hopefully that's the not the sign of things to come here. So let's see what we get. Let's see what will be the first nominee for card of the year. We'll see how long it lasts. It might only last a day. It might last a month. Who knows? Let's get on it here. There we go. We finally got Brad Marsh in a Phillies uniform. And, hey, Corbin Burns. Remember that? Series 1, Corbin Burns. What happens when we get Corbin Burns? You get a Wander Franco. I proved that in the purple thing, too. So... All right. So this will be the baseline. If I get a short print, or if these cards are that bad, I might not even pick one. So let's see. It's hard to see in this screen here. Cabrera, it's the same. Uh-oh. Got the card already. Mackenzie Gore. Padre. Well, that won't be going on the board. I got a few more of these boxes, so maybe they'll give us a good card since that card kind of wasn't the best. Now you can't get the card of the year on the first box, right? It'd be nice, but we got CJ Abrams. All right. Kind of going a little. And that trout card the surfer got was spectacular. That would have been definitely in that card of the year off the bat. Haven't seen anything jumping out at me yet. Short print wise. There seem to be a lot less short prints in these boxes than last year. I was getting like two or three in a box, and I think people are only averaging one or two at the most. So we'll see. Maybe I can get one of those red border cards. There's the trout. He had that same card, but it was a that 21 card. Or ultra short print. There we go. Another Franco. Oh boy, a surfer can't get one. Man, I got a Wanderers coming out the yin yang here. All right. Nothing going in the case yet. We're looking for a flipped around card. That's going to be the Ultra or big hits. Harry Payne, there we go. MVP of the World Series against my Phillies, unfortunately. If I were an autograph Mike Trout, that'd be pretty cool. There we go. Bum luck, Lewis Robert, White Sox dude. There we go, Aaron Judge. There we go, that one's a good one. A 
Another Aaron Judge. All right. Guess that would have to be the vote. Uh oh. Corbin Burns. Oh, we already got the Wander, so that ain't gonna happen. Chapman. Bryce Harper, there we go. I haven't seen any. It's hard to see through the screen, so I probably, hopefully, I, I'm sure I missed something. There we go. Schwarber. This dude lives right here in my town. Are you? He's from the town I'm in right now. Middletown, Ohio. He did the Christmas parade over here in town. Come on, how about a flip around card? Chapman. I had to miss something. I had to miss something somewhere. Unless it's waiting to give me something good here, but there we go. There we go. He's got the candy cane elbow right there. Okay, well, that's the only one I got out of this whole thing. Well, looks like it is, I guess. Baseline it. I guess we're only going to have to start with Aaron Judge, I guess. I mean, this won't last, hopefully, <laughs> very long. But... There we go. First candidate, which I love, Aaron Judge, but I think we can do a little better than that. So I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think of my idea. I mean, if it's stupid, I mean, it's stupid. There's nothing I can do. That's the way I, that's the way I operate. So thanks for everything, you guys. Appreciate everything. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.